Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So, we have looked into uh, physical property and geometric property of simple circular curve, spiral curve that consists of simple circular curve and transition curve. So, now we want to do a few exercises, examples to check either you really understand the concept of the uh, theory of the simple circular curve or spiral curve. Let us look into example 3 about curve radius. This is basically for simple circular curve. A curving roadway has a design speed of 110 km per hour. So bear in mind for design of horizontal alignment, the speed used in the formula is design speed. If you still remember what is design speed, you have to refer to the table. And the design speed is uh, depends on the types of terrain and also the road hierarchy. Okay, at one horizontal curve, the super elevation has been set at six percent, and the coefficient of road surface friction is found to be zero point one. Determine the minimum radius, so this is the R of the curve that will provide safe vehicle operation. So first and foremost, you have to extract all the important information. So we know that the V is 100 km per hour, the design speed, then the E is 6%. So you have to convert into decimal point. So 6% equal to 0 0.06. Remember, the E must be in decimal point. Then, the F given is 0 0.1. So, in order to determine the radius, we can just use the radius formula, which R equal to V squared, the design speed, over 127 multiplied by E plus F. And E and F both are in decimal point. So just fill in the information, 110 square over 127 multiplied by 0 0.06 plus 0 0.1. Then we get 595.5 meter is the minimum radius of the curve. Now we want to look into example number 4 to determine the stationing. Let us look into the question. A horizontal curve is designed with a 600 meter radius. So 600 meter is the radius and is known to have a tangent length of 52 meter. So 52 meter is the length of the tangent, one tangent. The point of tangent intersection, PI, is at station CH2000. CH here refer to chainage. So what is chainage? Chainage indicate a point that you use or label during a survey work. And determine the stationing of the PT. So PT is the point at the end of the curve. Okay, if you still remember the beginning of the curve, we call it SPC, point of curve. PI is the point of tangent intersection and the PT is the point of tangent where the end of the curve. Okay, how to solve this problem? So basically, given the tangent length is 52 meter, the change at PI is change 2000. Same goes to the tangent from PI to PT is 52 meter given the R is 600. And we know that the internal angle equal to the external angle. And half of the internal angle, we call it as delta over 2. We know that this is the M the middle ordinate and the external distance. Okay, let us look into the solution. 
we know that the tangent length equal to r tangent delta over 2. We know the tangent length, we know the r, but we don't know the angle. So what you are going to do is substitute all the information given and rearrange the formula where you move 600 in the left, the tangent to the left, so that it will be at tangent, tangent negative, and 2, move to the left. Then you will multiply all in F by 2. Then you will get the delta. So I will show you how to rearrange the formula. Uh, we know that uh, the length of tangent equal to r tangent delta over 2. Okay, we know the length of tangent, we know the radius, and now we want to determine the angle. We want to know the internal angle. So what we are going to do is rearrange the formula so that we can get the delta. So, the delta equal to at tangent T over R. So, the total here multiply by 2. So, how to get this? This is actually, we just rearrange the tangent formula. So, then we get 9.9 .9 degree. Just calculate using your Calculator, which T equal to 52 meter, R equal to 600. Then you add tangent the answer. Then only you multiply by 2 to get 9.9 .9 degree. What? You don't know how to use your calculator to calculate the angle? It's okay, I will show you. Very simple. Uh, just uh, 52 over 600 because the 52 is the length of tangent and 600 is the radius then you just shift tangent answer then we get 4.95 degree multiply by 2 ha huh. then we get 9.9 .9 degree simple to all chuba do chuba okay da so the delta equal to 9.9 .9 degree. So bear in mind, if you use this formula, the angle is always in degree, not in radian. So by using this simple formula for circumference, yeah, circumference, do you remember perimeter? L equal to R pi delta. Delta is the angle over 180 as it is a semi-hemisphere. Okay, then Substitute R, 600, pi and delta as 6 point, oh, sorry, 9.9 .9 degree, which is uh, the angle, the internal angle. Then we can get the length of the curve, where this angle that governed by this R, it will give you the length of PC till PT. Then we get... 104 meter. In order to get the change at PC and PT, we know that 2000 is the point of intersection. Then U minus 52 because from here to here is 52 meter. So U minus 2000 minus 52, then we get change 1948. This is the change at PC. To get the change at PT, yes, actually you can just uh, add 2000 plus 52. But bear in mind, the length of the straight line and the curve is supposed to be different. Okay, therefore we need to know the point of curve, then the length of the curve in order to get the change at point of tangent. So, point of tangent, PT, equal to PC plus the length of the curve, which is 104. 
So change 1948 plus 104, then we get change 2052. Okay, next, let us try this example, example 5, which a curve of a root section is designed with a combination of circular and transition curve. This is a spiral curve. And the design parameter are given below. Design speed equal to 90 km per hour. Central angle of the curve, theta. You also can use any symbol like delta or alpha is up to you. Equal to 15 degree. The side friction given F equal to 0.12. The super elevation E equal to 6%. Bear in mind, you have to convert into decimal point. And radial acceleration, Q, equal to 0 0.9 meter per second square. Okay, the unit for radial acceleration is meter per second square. Okay, radial acceleration, we use this radial acceleration in determining the length of transition curve. So, determine the minimum radius of circular curve the length of transition curve and the total length required for the above criteria. So let us look into the solution where we know that R equal to V squared over 127 multiplied by E plus F. We have this information, the V, E and F. So just substitute the information into this formula where we get the R equal to 355 meter. We know that the length of transition equal to this is LT. It's supposed to be LT. Length of transition curve equal to V cube over 46.7 QR. So we substitute all the information given in the question, then we get the length of transition curve equal to 49 meter. Once we know the length of the transition curve, then we can determine the angle that govern this length. So how to determine the angle? So the angle of the transition curve, it is supposed to be T equal to the length of the transition curve over 2R. This is the formula. Then we get 49 over 2 times 355. And the answer is 0 0.069 radian. Okay, if you use this formula, the angle is in radian. Then we want to determine the length of the simple circular curve. That is LB or LC. So the radius multiplied by theta minus 2 theta s. Theta s here refer to theta t. Okay, change into your note theta t and the answer in radian. So 355 multiplied by 0 0.2618. This is actually 15 degree convert into radian. Okay, now uh, I would like to show you how to convert from degree to radian. I know you clever, but that is okay. I will show you. Um, given uh, the central angle of the curve equal to 15 degree. So, to convert from degree to radian, you have to multiply uh, the angle by pi over 100 and 80. So it is 15 multiplied by pi over 180. We get 0.2618 minus 2 times 0.069. Why we multiply by 2? Because in one spiral curve, it consists of two transition curves. Then we get the length of the simple circular curve equal to 44 meter. And the total length of the spiral curve equal to 2LS or LT, length of transition curve, because 
it has two transition curve in the beginning and the end plus LB or LC, the length of simple circular curve. Okay, maybe you ask why we use B? B is actually stand for bullet, lengkung bullet. Okay, but we can use LC, the length of the curve as well. Equal to 2 multiplied by 49, which is the length of transition curve, plus 44, that is the length of simple circular curve. Equal to 142 meter. So this is the total length of spiral curve. So when you got all the value like theta, radius, the length of transition curve, the angle that govern the transition curve, the the angle that govern the spiral curve or simple circular curve, then you can come out with the total length of the spiral curve. Good luck!